interesting. We talked today about a very recent uh, and important discovery on the nature of black holes. Um, the study was conducted mainly by researchers of uh, the cosmology group of Scuola Normale Superiore. And today we have Fabio Pacucci, who is a PhD student and first uh, author of the paper. Uh, he will explain us a bit about this uh, recent discovery. So, black holes are most likely the astronomical objects uh, which uh, arise the, the general public interest uh, the most, uh, most likely be for the halo of mystery that uh, surrounds them. So, most basically, uh, a black hole is an astronomical object from which nothing, not even uh, the light, can escape. But uh, now let's try to understand why uh, uh, a black hole uh, is black, so why from a black hole uh, nothing can escape. Well, if you take uh, a ball in your hand and uh, you try to launch it toward uh, the, the sky, uh, common experience, common sense uh, tells you that uh, the ball will uh, fall back to the ground uh, sooner or later. Uh, physics actually tells us that uh, if you are able to take the ball and launch it toward the sky uh, with uh, a certain velocity, a uh, velocity higher than a threshold, then uh, the, black, the, the ball will never fall back because the, uh, it will leave uh, the gravitational uh, field uh, of the Earth. So this velocity, this limit velocity, is, is named the escape velocity and it can be computed for any astronomical uh, object. So in particular for uh, the Earth, the planet Earth, um, the, the escape velocity is about uh, 11 kilometers per second, so roughly 40,000 kilometers uh, per hour. So uh, for a black hole, instead, uh, the escape velocity is higher than uh, the speed of light. And uh, uh, due to the fact that the speed of light is the, the highest velocity achievable in uh, the universe, then nothing, not even uh, a photon, so not even a ray of light, can escape from uh, a black hole. So, employing uh, three NASA space telescopes, we believe that we observed uh, two black holes uh, of uh, a very special uh, kind, a class of black holes that uh, was never observed uh, before. So these black holes uh, were born, uh, were formed when the universe was very young, uh, less than one billion uh, years of age. Uh, today the universe has uh, roughly 14 billion uh, years, so when the universe was uh, less than one tenth of the current uh, age. So the peculiarity of uh, this source is that they have an intermediate mass. They are not small black holes, stellar mass black holes as they are called, like uh, the black holes that are formed at the end of uh, the stellar lifetime and uh, which can achieve at most uh, some tens of uh, solar masses. And they are not even uh, uh, giant, super giant black holes like the ones that are find, found at the center of uh, galaxies like uh, our own Milky Way and uh, that can uh, reach uh, a mass of up to 10 billion solar masses, so they are truly cosmic uh, monsters. So the black holes that we found uh, have uh, a mass up to 1 million solar masses, roughly, and uh, they are called direct collapse uh, black holes. And uh, the, the idea of direct collapse black holes uh, was, uh, uh, was born like uh, 10 years ago, but these objects were never observed before. So this discovery is important because it represents a, a step forward in uh, our understanding of the early universe. In particular, as I said before, uh, we know, we observe uh, supergiant uh, black holes uh, with a mass up to 10 billion solar masses uh, at the center of uh, almost every galaxy. 
So it's possible, it's actually possible to build up such uh, massive objects starting from uh, stellar mass uh, seeds. So stellar mass black holes uh, with a mass up to 10 uh, solar masses or so uh, can accrete gas so they can swallow uh, gas from the surrounding uh, area or uh, they can merge with other objects and uh, so in doing so they can uh, reach the mass of super uh, giant uh, black holes. The problem is the time because we observe super giant black holes, super massive black holes when the universe was very very young so the the universe uh, uh, less than one billion uh, years of age so uh, the problem is that it's not possible to build up uh, such massive objects in such a short time so one possibility that uh, was proposed was uh, uh, that in the, in, the con in the environmental conditions of the early universe it was possible to build up uh, directly black holes uh, of uh, billion, millions of uh, solar masses uh, and um, Uh, this, um, these objects are named dark clouds uh, black holes. So uh, the possibility of building up such massive intermediate uh, objects would give a jump start to the growth process of uh, these black holes and in principle it could be possible to reach uh, the mass scale of a supermassive black hole uh, in uh, one billion years or so. Uh, so direct class black holes, the object that uh, we believe we have observed, uh, may represent the ancestors, the progenitors of uh, supermassive uh, black holes that we observe in almost every galaxy and that we observe also in the very early universe. So fortunately for the astrophysicists, uh, uh, the universe is an infinite reservoir of uh, new uh, objects to be observed, new discoveries to be done. And uh, in particular, what is uh, very nice about science is that every single discovery brings with uh, himself uh, new questions that uh, need to be answered sooner or later. When it comes to this discovery in particular, of course, uh, in the immediate future, it will be necessary to, uh, to, to make a, a, a deeper observation of uh, these two objects to be sure that uh, they are really what we believe they are. And uh, in particular, uh, to uh, extend our uh, knowledge about these sources, Furthermore, it will be very important to extend uh, this study, this search in other patches of the sky in order to possibly find uh, more uh, objects of this kind and start to build up uh, a cosmic genealogic tree of uh, black holes. And uh, further, even further in the future, it will be uh, very interesting to study, for instance, uh, the coevolution of uh, these objects with uh, their uh, host galaxies. So, in, because it, we shall remember that uh, uh, at the same uh, time that uh, the first black holes were born in the universe, also the first galaxies uh, were uh, forming and the galaxies we know that uh, they are the building uh, blocks uh, of uh, the universe as uh, we know it uh, today. <laughs>